Hello guys, in this video I will show you how you can make lottery wheel like this. First I will interact with this button. It starts spinning. And I will get a random weapon. I got the shotgun. And then if I will interact again, it will give me another random weapon. So I got this, uh, this SMG or something, you know. And let's jump into UFN and I will show you how you can make uh, the lottery wheel. Uh, before I will show you how you can make your own lottery wheel, I want to say big thanks to this guy who made a tutorial on his YouTube channel how to make lottery wheel. Uh, and basically, what you will see in this video is just me remaking like making lottery wheel based on his information. So if you want to know how to make your own lottery wheel from like from the start, you can watch his tutorial, the link will be in the description, and let's just start. So first thing you should do is uh, go to my server and download lottery wheel zip file, and then you should extract it, then go to your uh, documents, coordinate projects, and uh, then select the project where you want to uh, have your, uh, so I will just click on training like Asian Jeff, right here go to your plugins, Training like Asian Jeff, like this is your folder name, right? Uh, you go to content, uh, and then you should go to your already extracted folder uh, and copy uh, this files, control C, and then paste it. And then go to your project, and you will see this stuff, right? So click on it, and you will see all this, all this thing, uh, all things you will need to make this ladder after you have all your materials uh, you should place your wheel place it like this uh, then click on click here and uh, and select movable uh, movable then go to a script extra actions convert to prop and select metal or something you know and then go back to your to your lottery wheel stuff uh, and right here just paste this thing like drag it and copy the location of uh, your center wheel uh, to match the position of this board, you know. Uh, after this, you should add plane. In shapes, you should add plane, then just drag it up, and then just rotate it 90 degrees. Uh, then you can also move it. And then you can just resize it uh, to fit this. And just like this. So after this, uh, just connect your plane to a lottery wheel base. So just drag it. So just drag it on wheel base. Then change right here uh, your angle to thirty. And just uh, hold, select plane and literally wheel base. Uh, hold Alt, Alt on your keyboard, and just move it to uh, on like thirty degrees. After you finish this circle thing, you should select all of your lottery bases, except the first one, and you should delete all of them, except the first one. So I'll basically select them, delete them, and then I, sh uh, I will select all the planes from second to uh, twelfth one and just uh, connect to this prop. Uh, then I will make it mov movable. So after this, uh, you should just drag, uh, drag this material on this uh, lottery wheel like border or something, you know. Uh, and the next thing you should do is just go to miscellaneous and uh, make new data asset. Uh, click on building texture data. Call it. Uh, 
black a material or base or something. Uh, just double click on it and uh, in override material select the black one. Uh, then save. Uh, go to this wheel and right here in primary select the black material for, for base. And after this, uh, we will go ahead and add the rows. So just copy uh, the placement of your uh, wheel basement, like wheel base, and just paste it. And then drag and drop this animated material. So in lottery wheel in animated material, make sure to change your texture to rainbow. Uh, two. Second one looks better. Uh, and then you will see this animated material thing, or you know, your uh, material. And this in this first one, uh, click on it and an image, just like the image of the weapon you want to uh, be there. So I will just the uh, gate keeper shotgun. Save. And then I will just do the same exact thing uh, for L12. Uh, after you uh, dropped all, after you selected all of your images uh, in each of these material instances, just drag them and drop uh, on the planes. And after this, uh, go to your first item material uh, and make this smaller. Click on this global vector vector. And just like green or something so basically the thing you should uh, make sure you should make sure that uh, these arrows will point the weapon which will have other background you know like not just the the color of the background like everybody have like you know this has like yellow and this has like blue you know make sure you can just select all of the like different uh different colors and like red, green, blue, and this is like just different arrows. So make sure that you select the white one. Uh, then click save and click save. Uh, also sometimes if you have, have like, uh, if you want your, this weapon to be like this with blue background, you just click false like this. And this is just negative, negative position. So basically it just, uh, if it right here, it will be right here, you know, and if you have like blue bag background right here and you will select false, it will be uh, down there, you know, so, down there. Uh, so then click save just, uh, click save, and uh, if you want to change something uh, to your, like, this weapons, you can go to this material for planes, and, and right here, if you want, uh, you can change the color uh, of this background. Like this is the yellow background, you know, like normal one, and this is like special one, right? Uh, and of the selected weapon, so you can change it. Or if you want your weapon to move, you can just add uh, final U UV node. Click apply. And the weapon will move. So, if you want, you can just uh, connect final UV, you know, 
but I won't because it's like too too distracting for me. Uh, so yeah, after this, uh, you you need to add twelve item grantors. Uh, first, just add one. Just place it where you want, and then change this uh setting. So on grant action, keep all grant current item. And then you should add new weapon in item list and just uh, add this weapon first round, you know, like shotgun, uh, gate, or sh keeper shotgun. Then just uh, click Alt and drag with arrow uh, to make new item grantor. And here you should select the second weapon, so this one, a uh, thunder, thunderbolt. Uh, and then just uh, select the next one. So I made all 12 item grantors. And after this, you should place your lottery will, uh, lottery will verse device. Uh, and just add 12 uh, array elements. And just connect them correctly. Uh, after this, close this array and add button. Just place where you want and just uh, set direction time to 1.5. Uh, then you can add another plane, rotate it 90 degrees, copy the position of your lottery wheel base, paste it, uh, then drag it up make it a bit smaller and then just drop the tex custom textures and drop the wheel if you have mythic wheel mythic weapons so drag this sign if you have other one you can just if you have like exotic one you can just drop it here exotic one so uh, drop it and then go to your device Let's select the wheel lottery wheel base and select the button and that's basically it. So let's go launch the session and let's test it out. Okay, so I'm in uh in in my game and I will spin a lottery wheel. And as you can see, it gave me random weapon. I will spin again, and it gave me another random weapon. So thanks uh, for all of my patrons, and uh, if you want to support me you can become a member on uh, patreon or you can boost my server in disc on discord and uh, make sure to like this video if you like it and subscribe because i have like i have huge plans for this channel and for my future videos so uh yeah have a good one bye